Hello everyone, welcome back to SecCaps Learning. In today's session, we will learn about what is SAML and how the authentic authentication works and what are the different SAML providers. Because SAML is mostly used in the uh, every organization for the authentication purpose. So if you are working in an organization, you might be already using SAML. SAML, let's say when you uh, open a web application and this is commonly used for web application only, not for any other authentication. So when you just open a, a web application, it will ask for your credentials and you just provide the credential. It will ask for the extra authentication method. So if you have enabled the mobile OTP or Microsoft Authenticator, you need to approve that request and then only you will be signed in. You will get your login page. But how that works, what's happening in the background? So we will discuss in detail. So SAML in simple language, it's a protocol or you can say it's a language which is used for authentication purpose, which is helping your identity provider and service provider to communicate with each other. So that's your SAML. And one more thing guys, SAML is developed by the security services technical committee. There is some uh, technical committee which developed the SAML. And latest version of SAML is 2.0, which uh, you can remember because sometime when you go for the uh, CyberArk interview, SailPoint or any other cyber security tool, they might ask you like what authentication method you are using in your organization or how it works. If you can explain that process, if you go for a senior profile. So let's try to explore this uh, SAML a bit in today's session. So stay tuned. And also, if you haven't subscribed to this channel, please subscribe because we will be keep uploading more uh, such videos, which will definitely going to help in your interview and gain some knowledge. OK, so uh, let's understand with the a simple uh, diagram. So how the uh, SAML will work or simple example first. What's the functionality of SAML with the simple web application. So let's say uh, you are using your website. OK, and I will take the example of my SecApps learning only. OK, let's say this is the website. And let's say this uh, website has a web application means uh, SAML has been configured for this website and this is a user. OK, this is the user. So he will open a browser. OK, he will open a browser and he will just enter this website. So this website will ask him the login because he needs to provide the login and all uh, like his credentials. And then only he will be get he will be getting the login access. So let's say he provide he just click on that login button on this website. Then it will be asking for the login credential. So then it will go to your identity provider or you can say the uh, SAML because SAML will be there mostly on your cloud software. Like you can use Microsoft uh, there also you can uh, use SAML or in any other uh, cloud platform also you can. So it, that request will go to your that uh, cloud software or you can say SAML it will go to that. And after that it will verify your identity. So there might be some database, correct, where all the details are stored. And mostly we use, a, use it as an active directory or you can call it as a domain. So all your identity, if you are an employee, your identity will be stored here in the active directory in your domain. You can say this is domain just consider. So it will validate. Yeah, this is the correct user. I should provide the login. So your identification will be verified here. After that, it will get a response here like, yeah, this is the correct user which you are looking for. And then after SAML response will be provided to this web application. And after that, you will get a login page. Your users will be able to log in. 
so in the back end your identity is getting verified uh, let's say you are play you are traveling from one country to another country okay and you went to airport so when you went to airport the security will ask for your identification or your identity card so if you will show the valid identity card like you showed the passport they will verify yeah this is the correct person he has he has all the rights so that's your verification is being done there and after that you you will be allowed to enter to airport correct similarly here your identity verification is done in the domain server or you can call it as a database also where your uh, saml will pass the request and it will verify if this user exists or not if this user have all the rights or not because if let's say there is a hacker who is trying to log in into this particular and but he will not be having his id correct he will not be having his email address or domain id then he will not able to log in so this is improving the security also because we are having multiple authentication method it is uh, just verifying your identity then we have extra authentication method also so saml in simple term it is a protocol which is just validating your identity verifying your identity and just granting the access so that's your saml which is used for authentication purpose and in the organization saml is widely used mostly in every organization you will find saml because it supports the multi factor authentication multi factor authentication means let's say uh, when you are just login you need to enter your username and password then after that it will again ask for another authentication method like you will get a otp you need to approve a request from the authenticator etc and after that only you will be logged in so that is your saml in saml we have two major providers one is the let me take a example one is the identity provider and another is service provider identity provider means where your identity is verified means let's say uh, when you are trying to log into your office uh, mailbox and you will provide your username and password so it will go to your identity provider to some database where they will look for yeah this is the correct user he has all the rights we should provide him the all access so generally in identity provider it will be your company which will be a identity provider or you can call it as a idp or you can call it as a domain which will be your idp because when you join a company so first thing what they are they will be doing they will create your identity your username your uh, first name last name your mobile number what access you will have so that will be created on the domain server so domain will act as your identity provider which is verify your identity yeah this is the correct user we should provide him the access but what is service provider here service provider is the service which you are using let's say you are trying to log into salesforce okay so here salesforce is your service provider you try to log into cyberac pww so that's your service provider correct sale point similarly to which app web application you are log in so they are pro, they are service provider because they are providing you the service they are granting you the access so that's your service provider and your saml is which is used to have a communication between both which is you can call it as a saml act as a medium here let's say this is saml which is helping you to validate both the identity provider and service provider request it is acting in between and which is used to communicate between these two identity and service provider and then only you get a login access 
so that's your different SAML providers identity or you can call it as IDP and another is SP because in the interview this may be asked what is SP or IDP both are different one is identity provider what is service provider so that is your SAML and let's see this if you will see this the diagram this is the user and he will just click on that particular web application then it will be asked to it will be redirected to the logon page of your SAML if you if you uh, already working in an organization you might have seen when you are typing a URL automatically that URL will change something to logon dot Microsoft something it will change there you are providing your login credential your username and password correct uh, here you will see your display logon page after that you provide your username and password it is sent to your database means your domain where that uh, information is stored your mostly your information will be stored in a domain only because that's your active directory when you join a company your all the uh, like detail related to and uh, related to, to the uh, access your first name last name will be created on the domain only on active directory only so it will verify your all the this detail like yeah this is the correct user or not after that it will send a verification response or you can also call it as a like uh, validation it has verified your identity and after that it will be sent to your SAML identity provider which is which will be there on your cloud just like your uh, Microsoft Azure so and after that SAML will send a response in response it will have all the details yes this is the correct user or you can call it as a token SAML token which will have all the details about the user it has all the rights and then it will be passed to your service provider service provider like your Salesforce which to which a web application you are login let's say you are using Facebook and in Facebook also you have integrated with SAML so when you open a Facebook URL what will happen it will be automatically redirected to the SAML page SAML this logon page after that you provide your Facebook detail like username and password it will go to your database it will verify where that information is stored after that it will get a verification from it and your SAML identity provider will verify that identity and it will send a response to Facebook and after that Facebook will grant you the access here Facebook will act as a service provider so that's your SAML and it uh, that's how it works if you take the example of in context of CyberArk also like how it works so when you open a CyberArk PWA URL and you enter or you click on SAML or you click on multi-factor because you can customize that name after that it will be redirected to a SAML logon page and there you will pass the credential and if uh, extra authentication methods are enabled you just need to approve from your mobile phone and then it will be sent to your domain your active directory and where it will it will be validated if that particular uh, user have the permissions or not if let's say that user do not have the permissions so you you will get an error like user can uh, cannot access something like that you will get an error but if user have the uh, permissions then it will be redirected to the IDP again and IDP will send a SAML response it will let uh, the service provider yeah this is the uh, correct request you can trust the uh, identity provider and grant him grant him the relevant access or required uh, access what he is looking for and then you will get the access to your cyber app page so that's how SAML works and SAML is something let's say if you are going for the SAML integration so there are only little integration you need to do in uh, CyberArk or in SailPoint if you are working so if we talk about SAML you need to uh, make the changes in the SAML.config file you need to get the detail from your SAML provider or you can say identity provider 
they will be providing you the like certificate, the name, etc. And rest of the details you need to just enable from the CyberArk portal, like under authentication method. And most of the int integration steps will be done on the on your identity provider side because your all the uh, validation, your verification will be done from the identity provider. Means you are from via SAML IDP. So that's how your SAML works. And in the interview, sometimes this question will be asked like, uh, what is identity provider and what is service provider? In simple terms, guys, identity provider is something like which is verifying your identity. If you are that person who have these rights, let's say uh, the same example, if you are going to your college or airport, they will check your identity. If they find that uh, this is the correct identity, then only you will be allowed to enter to uh, on premises means to college or airport similarly in digital world and service provider is something which is providing you the service like you are trying to log into a web application so that will be your service provider so that's the uh, SAML all about I hope you might have got a good idea about SAML practicals we won't be able to make it because it, we have dependency but after this at least you can explain what is SAML and what are service provider how the authentication works so thanks for uh, watching and please subscribe I can see like there are lots of uh, users who haven't subscribed to this channel please subscribe because we will be bringing more uh, such videos and soon we will try to conduct a uh, webinar where you, you all can join and we can discuss about the CyberArk and other technologies also. So please stay tuned.